Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today we're going back to basics. How to sharpen a knife. I only have three knives in my kitchen, but they're all excellent, high quality steel blade knives. And I like to keep them sharp, sharp. So sharpening a knife is something that I think everybody should know how to do at home. You can take your knife to a butcher shop. Sometimes if you're lucky, you have a local truck that comes around and rings a bell once a week, very old school. I have a guy that comes here every Sunday, sharpens knives. But if you don't have that, this is something that you should learn how to do if you like to cook because keeping your blades nice and sharp just makes for a much more efficient kitchen all around. I'm gonna show you what I mean by a dull knife. I have a tomato, I've made some burgers, and when I've made some homemade burgers, I wanna to put tomatoes on them. I don't want big, thick tomato slices. I want nice, like three thin tomato slices on that burger. Go to cut the tomato. Look at this. I am pressing, nothing is happening. That is a very dull knife. It has left a cleft in the tomato. It has not pierced the skin. That means this knife is not sharp at all. So a common technique to actually gauge the sharpness of a knife in professional kitchens is very lightly touching the edge. It should just make the hairs on your arm stand up. If you touch it and you don't get that feeling and you press even more, then it's dull. If this was sharp, I would not be able to do this. This would slice through my skin. So, this is a great, well-made German knife. It is high quality steel, and yet it still regularly needs to be sharpened. If it's sharpened well, to maintain the edge, you can have just a, a, a knife steel, like one of those steel rods in the kitchen, and you can go on either side about 10 times alternating, and it'll bring it back to an extreme razor sharp edge. But if it's very dull like this one, then you need to go way back. You need to actually grind down the edge of the steel, especially if you look closely at the edge and it has little dents and nicks in it. You have to grind it down. To grind down the edge of a knife that is extremely dull, that is nicked or dented, I use oil stones. And oil stones are used for sharpening all kinds of steel blades, not just knives, but chisels for woodworking, um, pocket knives, uh, what else? Any kind of metal tool that needs a sharp edge can be sharpened on a stone. And they come in different grades of coarseness. So I have here two pieces of quarried Arkansas stone. Arkansas stone has a reputation for being the best stone, some of the best stone, for honing blades by hand. So to sharpen this knife, I'm gonna start with a coarse stone, which is going to abrade the edge of the steel quickly, and then I'm going to go to a very fine, smooth stone, which will help to polish it. So these stones need some kind of lubrication. They're either water stones or they're oil stones. So they're either a stone that you put water on to act as a lubricant or oil. And I like these oil stones. So I just lay the stone down and I put on some mineral oil, just a little bit, not too much. And then just with my fingers, I coat the surface of the stone with the oil. And now I'm just going to hold my knife at an angle this is the most important thing about sharpening, and this is actually the most difficult thing to learn. Once you set the angle of where you're gonna pull the knife along the stone, it has to be the same with every stroke. If you start holding it at a high angle, and then you go to a low angle, and then it's a middle angle, and then high again, you're just creating various levels on that steel. You have to keep it at exactly the same angle and keep pulling at that same angle. The ideal angle for honing a knife blade is between 20 and 30 degrees. This is 90 degrees, this is 45 degrees, and I would say that is between 20 and 30. So if we had 15 degrees, that creates a very low angle and what that means is the edge of the blade is very narrow 
which is great for slicing something. However, it makes it much more susceptible to denting and being dulled. If the angle is really, really wide, it's not ideal for slicing. So we want an angle between 20 and 30 degrees. You can make a knife even duller than it is right now by putting it on the stone incorrectly. You'll probably screw up the first few times. That's okay because this knife can be honed over and over and over again until you get it right. My suggestion is to get a very cheap knife from a flea market or a tag sale, a cheap knife that you're kind of interested in that you paid $2 for and practice on that knife. It might end up becoming your favorite knife because you learn how to sharpen it very, very well and then it's super sharp. So start with a knife that's not precious to learn how to do this. So I take my knife, I put it on the stone. I hold it with both hands. This is a 45 degree angle. That's about a 30 degree angle. So I'm gonna pull it across the stone and come up to the tip. And you see I'm moving my body mostly. I'm trying to keep my hands straight. And this stone, it's grinding down the edge of that steel. And if I am keeping this at the same angle, it's eventually going to create a very flat bevel. If the knife is very dull, if the knife has a lot of nicks in it or dents, you have to do this for a long time until all of those nicks and dents are gone. They'll only be gone if you grind down all of that steel past the dents and the nicks. Okay, and then I have a cloth. I wipe off. You see all that black stuff? That's actually steel and oil. That's tiny bits of steel and the oil. So I look, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's getting there. Now I'm going to have to flip my knife over and do this the opposite way. And you gotta sort of position your body to be able to move. So I'm not, I can't do this. I just don't have the right dexterity. It's not set up properly to do this comfortably. My, my parents speak Tamil. In Tamil, there's a perfect word that doesn't exist in English to describe this feeling. In Tamil, I would say, and valam is a noun. There's just no equivalent in English for this word. In Tamil, I would just say, I don't have valam. And this, this, is what, this is what you would do when you don't have valam. You have to move your body around to get to the right place to make it work. I guess you would say it's awkward, but still just, just one of those beautiful words in another language that doesn't exist in English. Okay, so now, very important, I have to try to make that angle the same as the other side. So about 30 degrees, hold it flat, run that knife edge across the stone. So this is already feeling sharp. Like I'm touching it and it's feeling pretty sharp. However, this is always just the beginning, the coarse stone. You would never finish on the coarse stone. You wouldn't just take the knife from here and take it into your kitchen. You need to refine this a little bit. The coarser the stone, the quicker the steel is taken off, okay? But the coarser the stone, the more microscopic little dents are in the steel edge, the very edge of where those angles come together. So what we do now is we move from the coarse Arkansas stone to the very fine Arkansas stone. This is much smoother than that previous stone. Same thing, get a little bit of mineral oil and same thing on the fine stone. Take your blade, try to hold it at the same angle as before and slide evenly across, going the whole length of the blade. And the first time I did this, I thought I had sharpened it and it was worse than when I started. So if that happens to you, do not give up and have faith that you will learn how to do this. This is less black because not as much steel is coming off. Okay, now, I'm gonna do the other side. Ooh. 
Ooh, 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 baby. Just putting your thumb on that blade sends a shiver down your spine if it's sharp. And it is almost as sharp as I want it on the stone. Okay, so this is, this is pretty good. Now I'm going to finish this off on another surface. But before I do that, you want to wipe off the oil from the stone. Clean them off, okay? You don't want to leave that oil on there. So I'm going to set these aside. And the last thing I'm going to use is a strop. A strop is a piece of leather that's used for doing the final sharpening of a blade. This is a piece of suede, so it's the back of the leather, and this is the surface of the leather, the top side. This is slightly rougher than this. This is smooth and polished, and we do use both sides. So you put some honing compound on the leather. Honing compound is a paste that is a very, very fine abrasive, and that is what actually helps make this part of the sharpening process very effective. So I'm going to put some honing compound on the suede side and while I'm here on the leather side. Now I'm going to take my blade, same thing as before, holding it at that angle. I'm just going to run it along the strop. Just a few strokes on one side and a few strokes on the other side. And this polishes up that the edge of the knife. Now the same thing on this fine leather side. Let's test it out and see. Nice. Nice thin. That's what I want. Yes. Nice thin tomato slice for my burger. You cannot do this with a dull knife. I want a really thin lemon slice. Sharp, sharp, sharp knife. To help keep this knife sharp, there are some things that you should not do. There are some things you should do. Don't ever put it in the sink full of water and leave it there. It will ding against other things and dull the blade. You can also really hurt yourself by reaching into a sink full of water and accidentally touching this very sharp blade. Don't do that. Don't put it in the dishwasher. The best way to maintain this knife while cleaning it is to wash it with soap and water by hand, to dry it, and to put it away immediately. The other thing is having a specific space just for knives. So a knife block, a magnetic knife strip on the wall, that keeps the blade away from other things. If you just throw this into a drawer and it's shaking around, whatever it hits, abrades that beautiful edge that you've just so carefully honed. So sharpen your knife and then take care of that fine edge. It'll help keep the edge sharper longer. A dull knife is actually more dangerous in the kitchen than a very sharp knife because a dull knife you're you're pressing down and you're you're pulling against to try to cut something and that has more potential to slip and hurt yourself than um, a sharp knife. Look at that beautiful thin lemon slice for your evening cocktail. Sharpening a knife, life skill, everyone should know. Because you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, please, and subscribe for more videos just like this one.